You're wasting your time. He's not in. Gotcha. So that's him. He's got a gun. Is that a problem? Well, problems are why you keep me around, right? Time him. I'm curious. Too late. He's in. Already? Don't say I don't know. I have no idea. Nuh uh. No synonyms. Give me a real answer. I'm just not that into aliens or video games. It's not just any alien. It's. Oh, come on. Is anyone else having a problem with their phone? Ooh, what? Oh, God. Oh, God. you that already? Yeah, I never listen.
what's his deal? He was raised in Oakland, but was born in... <laughs> his deal is, he's been hanging around the DedSec IRC, and he's got cred. Figured we'd give him a test drive. On the hardest difficulty, nobody's been able to delete their CTOS profile before. I want to see if he's smart, stubborn, or both. suspect in a high-tech burglary, so... He's done time? Community service. raised in Oakland, but was born in... <laughs> His deal is, he's been hanging around the DedSec IRC, and he's got cred. Figured we'd give him a test drive. On the hardest difficulty, nobody's been able to delete their CTOS profile before. I want to see if he's smart, stubborn, or both.
CTOS tagged him as the prime suspect in a high-tech burglary, so... He's done time? Community service. Not enough evidence. Just the word of CTOS's predictive algorithms. Uh, once in the system... Always in the system. Holy shit! He went for it! You won't have much time before the backups kick in. Going in the hot aisle. It's at least 120 degrees in there. Give the man props. He's going the mile. Nobody's gotten that far. This is like the secret cow level. Why's my threat so high? I could just...
just gonna drop a little backdoor into the system so I can get back inside later. Sorry, Bloom. We've got unfinished business. He's heading out. Bag him. Yeah. Hold it right there. Help him. 
Where the fuck am I gonna go? Josh! Okay, okay. Fuck you, Bloom! Thirteen, Chicago realized the promise of smart cities with CTOS, a citywide operating system merging big data with surveillance, security, and transit programs. With a few hundred lines of code, hackers were able to hijack its central servers and cripple the entire grid. Many believed the attack would be a killing blow for smart city development. They were coordinated from the heart of Silicon CTOS 2.0 has been implemented across the United States, ushering in Internet of Things. 6.4 billion connected devices now serve as collection points, and recording, and more invasive system. Else is listening. Big Brother no longer works alone. Thousands of little brothers monitor and your every move, building a file to be stolen in an instant. Toys, study your ch vehicle device can now be breached remotely. You may think that you or underestimate the risk, but your digital shadow is already compromised. Insurance companies use algorithms to monitor your life habits and limit or deny coverage. Health providers determine if your cancer is worth treating. Search results and news fees are skewed to bias mood and influence your vote. And social uprisings on a massive scale. You are now less valuable than the data you produce. Data you produce. Is the new reality. Going dark is no longer an option. With threats to personal freedom rising, many are stepping forward. Whistleblowers, activists, and hackers have drawn their battle lines, putting the establishment on watch. But are they threats themselves, or have they become freedom's last line of defense? Freedom's last line of defense. So, am I in? Welcome to DeadSec. I'm Satara. This sweetheart is Josh, AKA Hot Sauce. Yo, you're Hot Sauce? Yo, man, I loved your frat house hat. Real talk. Thanks. This weirdo's wrench. The needs of the many. And this Casanova is Horatio. What's up, brother? Something. It's the crew, huh? Took y'all long enough to come get me. Shit. You saw Bloom's bullshit. CTOS isn't just regulating infrastructure. The amount of personal data that thing is collecting is fucking mind blowing. Yeah. It's Big Brother and Little Brother all rolled up into one. Huh? Sees everything you do and tells on you. Thank you, Josh. So what's the fix? Sledgehammers and fire. No! Sledgehammers on fire. <laughs> All of that data in one place means they can reject your fucking application before you click on it. Congratulations, you have been pre-rejected for our credit card. Or your house, or your insurance. That's not even the worst case scenario. All that data in the hands of the government? They'll arrest you for shit before you even do it. Yeah, I've been there. I don't fucking know why. Man, fuck it! Fuck it, man. We're hackers. We, we out think, we out dare. I, I say we tear down the fucking wall. Hey, show everyone what, what Bloom's up to, man. Show, show the world that their personal data is being used to rob them of their fucking freedoms. Fuck. I installed a back door, so all we gotta do is walk right through. Uh, hold on. You what? He installed the back door, so all we have to do is walk through. Bingo.
Hey, man. Do you have the time? Oh, yeah, man. I, I got it. I got it. It's kind of late for a night run, isn't it? Hey, what, are you, what are you running from the cops? <laughs> Maybe I am one. Hey, hey you, you look familiar. <laughs> Have a good party. Fucking king this mother... <laughs> Fuck you, Bloom. I'm gonna go have a goddamn good time. New phone. Where's my phone? In the ocean, where you threw it, I think. I don't remember. I was pretty smack. Space. Where? Check your pics and figure it out. Place am I in? Cause I can Like Mardi Gras. Go get yourself something to wear, and I'll tell you where to go next. Oh, and you'll need your phone ready for operation. So hit the store and download your apps before you get here. Damn, walk of shame on my first day. Figured that out, didn't have kids. <laughs> we need paramedics right freaking now.
watch the launches. No, no way. After I saw some people in the sky, people right on the beach. So stuck. You know people shit all over the place, right? You're probably standing. All right, you got three no. seconds before I arrest you.
Now's not the time. I need to stay on the line. I will make You want to laugh at something? Go look in the mirror. Whoa, I'll get you for that. You got shit, man. Problem? I already got money. Hey, uh, you can change in the back. Have a good one. And the passcode for the door. Press side pound. Gig so hard, make my pants fall down. This beat pounds. Cutty, where'd you get it? Oh, you ain't know? Dr. Dre did it. I come with it. Rapping and rhyming and dancing, pantomiming, acting like I'm driving. Then switch it up. Dance like I'm fishing. See, in the Bay Area, we dance a little different. To dizzle, the West Coast whistle. Do they get stupid? Come up with trouble. Call the hospital. He's having his own. He knows he's getting stupid in the snow. Everywhere we go, we're so party, y'all. We gon' get it cracking like. 
like the Mardi Gras. Get stupid. Get stupid. Get stupid. Get stupid. Go stupid. Go stupid. Go stupid. Come on, go stupid. You get what I'm saying?
are. Yeah. It almost makes you wish for a reset button. Oh, hold on now, that's not fair. Isn't it? That boss beat the shit out of me, Owen. I lost everything, all my good gear, and you know it auto-saves the moment you die. Yeah, that's a pretty big dick move on their part. Persist in the world, my ass. Give me manual saves any day. Hey, you want me to dig out the old console for when you get home? God, yes. You got it, baby. Burns fat. Dieting burns fat. Chocolate does not. It's 
a special kind of chocolate. They make it using an ancient recipe that strips out the fat and leaves only fiber and nutrients. So you mean the cocoa bean itself? No. The talk he gave was very convincing. Or he thought so too. How many did you buy? Three. That's not so bad. Okay.
Suddenly, my hand slipped. It must have been an earthquake. There's no other way I'd have messed up like that. I had to completely strip the paint off and then start from scratch. Ugh, it sucked. But I gotta say, my miniature army is going to look amazing. and you're only getting a plus one synergy bonus. You should be drawing plus three in like under four turns. Hi. I rolled a 12 and just barely made a hit, but it was enough. My paladin was down to one life before I was able to heal everyone with a prayer for divine intervention to my deity, Arneson. Yo! Finally. So Josh and I spoke, and fucking over Bloom has been a long-standing project. All right, you need two things to take down Bloom. You need to get people to rally behind your cause to separate you from the trolls. And we need bots, and a lot of them to handle the data CTOS is processing. Thank you, Josh. We spent all night modifying our app so you can get followers to download the app, and we can use their processing power for the cause. This is happening? It's really happening? Mm -hmm. Man, this is happening. You better get to it. <laughs> Hell yeah, man! Barbarians are at the gate and ready to bust some Roman heads. Yeah, we're gonna focus on some high-profile ops, playing for laughs to get people to download our app. Mm -hmm. All right. Don't worry. So it was something fun. <laughs> Marcus! <laughs> Check you out! Alive and dry. I wasn't sure after your moonlight swim. Come here. You've got to check this out. So what do you do around here for fun? What do you mean? This is fun. Yeah, but outside this place. No. Right. Uh, nice talk, Josh. The wrench. <laughs> the wrench. <laughs> Man, what to say about this guy? Some freaky shit going on right there. I'd like to say he's actually a sensitive, charming guy beneath the harsh exterior. But I'm pretty sure he's a fucked up motherfucker all the way through. I don't even know who first recruited him. He just started showing up at local hacker spaces and building his tools of destruction. At first, I thought he was trying too hard. Like he was a FBI plant or something. But no agent is gonna pull the kind of suicidal stunts this guy does. I think the truth is, Wrench doesn't care if he but he's not going quietly. Even so, I'm going to Wrench on our side. 
One of the group's biggest problems is lack of GSD. Getting shit done. The wrench is pure GSD, and he brings his own sledgehammer. He's not some dumb thug either. I've seen some of his code. He's legit. Probably why he's interested in dead sick and not some street gang. You know what? I take that back. He might actually belong to a street gang. Who knows? One thing I do know about Wrench, the man hates Bloom. I mean, hates them. I can't get the why from him. It's obvious he wears the mask to avoid facial recognition, but what's he hiding from? He's not safe. Let's talk about Satara. She's been driving DeadSec in the Bay Area. The hacker space? She's paid for it with uh, <laughs> borrowed money. <laughs> Every dead sec poster, every flyer, that's Satara. She's even had a hand in our core tool set. Found one of the first zero days in CTOS 2.0. Some of the guys call her Madam President, but I see her as more of a pirate captain. She'll lead you to the treasure, but you piss her off, you're walking the plank. I had a long talk with her once. Now where she gets her relentless drive. Rich parents back home, and I mean like drive in the house rich. They sent her to Ivy League school. Yes, plural. Hoping to expand the dynasty, I suppose. But she didn't stick with it. She rejected their money too. Everything she's got now was taken from people she says didn't deserve it. Satara's seen her own relatives pulling strings, taking advantage. She says shit like that will never change because people at the bottom think they can't change it. And she says we're right at the heart of it now with Silicon Valley pushing us towards a point of no return. Replacing elite individuals with unstoppable corporations. Bloom makes the top of her hit list. And she calls CTOS 2.0 their preemptive strike on any opposition. DeadSec found Josh. Hot sauce. Posting anti-CTOS videos on invite. Kid had a plastic Halloween mask over his face. A skull. But like the worst dollar store scholar you can find, you can see his eyes through it. Big no-no when it comes to avoiding a profiler. He had a distorted voice, but he didn't change his speech patterns. See, Josh, he's high-functioning autistic, which means he's got a very specific way of talking. Sitar found him easily, but he wasn't at all what we expected. When you get down to pure coding, Josh operates on a higher level than the rest of us. We got a look at a CTOS profile and all kinds of nasty flags popped up. Emotionally challenged, unstable, even a low mental maturity score. He's none of those things and he quickly became the activist soul of our group. He has a black and white way of seeing things, fair and unfair, which means he can be refreshing and often hilarious. We caught a glimpse of the damage CTOS dealt him. Rejected care programs, cut funding, overcharges, we offer to help him make things right. When we met Josh, he had the right intentions and the wrong approach, like a laser putting on a pretty light show instead of burning holes. If Bloom's system wants to make him unemployable, damn straight we're gonna snatch him up and point him right back at him. In fact, that's where you earned some of his hacker cred. I read everything I could about it when it was going down. The home domain center had to deal with Homeland Security. They rolled out cameras in Oakland and started stockpiling data on everybody. Somehow Retro got targeted by it. They profiled him based on his computer skills and marked him as a prime suspect in robbery. The evidence was all digital. Nothing put him at the scene of the crime. And the case <laughs> was a shit show. 
full of quotes from people who didn't know anything about technology, lies everywhere, false flags and fear mongering. They weren't about to admit to a flaw. Chicago DedSec has coordinated operations. Everybody is working towards the same goal. Rumors say that the leaderless group actually has somebody upstairs calling the shots. The Council of Daves. I can't say if it's true or not, but somebody's focusing their efforts. I know because I studied everything about them, even ran a few of their ops. I wanted to emulate them, try to figure out what worked for them and apply it to us. But the members of our Bay Area dead set couldn't be more different from each other. Now, from spanning anarchists to activists, we'd probably feel the damn thing. But there's one thing that unites the key crew. Each one of us has reason to hate big data, or more specifically, Bloom and its CTOS. I've been overseeing operations, making sure people get to work with the tools they require. I've got eyes on the big picture. The way I see it, I've lit the fuse. It's only a matter of time before Bloom feels the dead sec explosion. our very own open source research app. So, like, all of us here pool vulnerabilities that we find, and we encourage everyone to share their work, their research, etc. Okay, so what's the research? Widen our skill set? Make us irresistible to the gender of our choice? What, so it's like a I know kung fu kind of deal? If kung fu was a gender and not so 1999? Absolutely.
Behold, the wonders of technology. A 3D printer. This is the army of printers. It is capable of pumping out an arsenal of lethal weapons down. Seriously? Yep. Once you master it, voila! Hipster merchant of death. All good, except I'm no hipster. <laughs> you keep telling yourself that. Now try to make something. But don't blow up. Good to have another brother here. Good to be here, man. Are you all hackers? Yeah, kind of a basic requirement to get invited into the hacker space. But we all have our specialties, like Josh over there. Always building shit that shouldn't work. Now he's trying to build this big-ass drone. And Wrench? Good engineer, too. 
but better at breaking shit apart. And yo, Satara? <laughs> Sis got skills as an artist and a graphic designer. Without her, dead sex walking around without a face or voice. What about you? What's your superpower? Tactical coordinator or cat herder. Take your pick. I make dead sec go where it has the most impact. You heard of Prime 8? Those are some real dirty hacking motherfuckers. Yeah, I've brushed up against them before. It wasn't pleasant. All right, that's what I like to hear. Link up with me when you're ready to do this, and I'll fill you in. There's always someone running ops against Prime 8. Bet they'd love your help. It's something, right? This whole place is something. We used to keep track of news feeds on here, but now it's our follower wall. So it knows if we're trending? No, no, no. It's based on hard values. How many people downloaded our app, how much processing power we have access to, you know. Nice. And speaking of which, we're downloading the DeadSec app into your phone as we speak. When it's ready, open it up, click the suggested op, and hit the park outside so we can test it. Sounds good. One more thing. I put a reminder on your phone so you remember what we're gunning for. Get enough processing power to take down Blue. organization New Dawn is accusing Oakland City Councilor Miranda Kamei of defamation. In a recent interview, the councilor had described the organization as, quote, a fraudulent pyramid scheme. The organization seems to have fought back with more than just lawyers. The councilor's private life was recently revealed when medical records of the councilor's transgender treatments were mysteriously released to the media. A spokesperson for New Dawn said that the organization had nothing to do with the leaked medical records and in her statement accused Councillor Kamei of desperately seeking attention.
So, I rolled a 12 and just barely made a hit. The app's downloaded and I'm in the park. What am I testing? Start profiling things around you. People, devices. See what you can pull from them. That's what helps us figure out our next ops. And running ops that are important to people is how we get them interested in DedSec. The more followers download our app, the more intel we get. It's the circle of life. Oh, and see if you can find some components to help us with our research. Hipster merchant! <sighs> the app is your data mining tool. Of death! Okay, okay, I got this. So what now? Up to you, man. You're free to do whatever catches your eye. We post ops to the DedSec app, and doing them helps us get followers. And followers are our Skrilla. Followers meet the computers, which boosts our processing power, which lets us do bigger and better ops. Get chido. Coming up after the break, we'll be sitting down with a former street artist. Sweet T, as he's known in the community, is here to promote a new book of his art and a brand new fashion line, including t-shirts, caps, and bling. Very exciting stuff. Okay, seriously, what happened? Hey, so what's this about Bobo Dakes? You know Bobo's working on a new album, right? Yeah, I heard. Well, you won't get to hear it? Motherfucker Gene Carcaney just put millions on the table to keep it all to himself. What does a big pharma CEO want with a rap album? Dude has a huge Bobo collection. And he probably wants to hang that shit on his wall like a damn trophy. It's just rubbing his money in our faces, bruh. Do you know if Bobo took the deal? He hasn't announced anything yet. But he will. It's a lot of cash. And maybe there's still time for an intervention. Time for what? I assume you guys have heard of Gene Carcani? He's 
the shit sack who's on TV laughing about how he's raising the price of leukemia medicine. Yeah, the most hated man in America? Yeah, what do you ask? Guy's a huge Bobo Dakes fan. Must have read Bobo's in town recording new tracks because he's offering millions to keep the album to himself. So stupid. Bobo will never go for it. The real one won't. So we're going to do it for him. I'm going to visit Bobo and see if I can borrow some of his new tracks as proof that we're Dr. Karkani. I need you guys to run through interviews, podcasts, whatever. Find me some usable lines. We're going to make a soundboard. Ooh, I love this. Wow, mira, un descubrimiento. Es el eslabón perdido. Watch it without me. Uh, meet you at the hacker's wave. I'm on my way. Huh? Excuse me. Don't blame you. If I was that ugly, I'd be pissed off too. You can't talk. Hey. Fuck, me. Oh, fuck that, man. You're fucked now. Huh. On second Get thought. the fuck out of here! You Jeez. little bitch! You, punch in the you sure you wanna you fuck with me? Fucker, fuck! Oh. Yo, I'm out of here! Do you fucking touch me! Someone send us some more units. Have a description of the suspect incoming. Fuck you! Suspect took out a pedestrian! Fucking maniac! Don't come any closer!
my jam. ¿Qué pedo? Jerk. <laughs> yeah, that's right, we doing this. Hey, get your swag up. You what? Oh, you're a real fucking winner, aren't you? You're a champion douchebag. Gold medal. What do you think about the current state of affairs? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This pinche sucks, man. 